Hello and welcome to day 178 of 365 days of running 2017 miles in this year. So, just making some breakfast following this morning's run. Um, whether or not this will be part one today, I don't know. Uh, it's hit me pretty hard following last week's 70 miles. So, um, I think I'm just going to make myself some eggs. Get off to the right start, uh, poached egg on toast, using this little contraption from B&M Home Stores. So, been out three miles, which is a nice easy pace, didn't, didn't go too hard. But um, also struggling due to self-inflicted problems. So, I haven't really spoke about this too much on camera, and I would very much like to learn a little bit more about this. Um, I know enough about it due to suffering from IBS myself. However, I'd like to understand IBS at a really kind of um, in-depth level to really help others and, and help, obviously help myself as well. Uh, and I've got to say, those simple carbohydrates from yesterday, a bit of a mess up, um, probably led to the struggle this morning. The struggle getting up first thing in the morning, uh, the struggle with being slightly late and also the struggle with uh, not feeling right because my stomach was just churning and churning while teaching my spin session and then also uh, while out running. So um, it's quite hard to talk about, people probably wouldn't like this, this topic area, but I think um, IBS is stupid really because I could control those responses by not having those simple carbohydrates. So if I'd have just carried on eating as I had been, for the previous couple of weeks, really spot on. The minute I have those simple carbohydrates, so basically a bit of a bit of processed bread, uh, best of both. Some people think that's quite a healthy bread. Um, I would disagree, but as soon as I had that, problems, big problems, set me off, set the IBS off, big problems with the performance this morning in terms of being able to run properly and being able to teach my spin class in a way that I would like to. So. With that in mind, you are in control. And something like IBS, you've got to be careful with those, those food groups. You've got to learn what it is that sets you off and the things that are going to do it. Just don't do it, especially when training is important. So, and it's very similar to any nutrition. It doesn't just be for the IBS sufferers, but any nutrition. If you eat really, really well and you're eating the right things and the right foods, your body starts to turn off those cravings for the things that you shouldn't be eating, you know, those processed foods, those those really kind of high fat, high sugar, high salt things that we eat out of the packet, um, your body will start turning off to those once you've started eating a regular healthy diet and balanced diet. And then what will happen is you might fall off, as people use it, but I don't like that phrase, falling off, but you might have a bad day, a bit like me yesterday, and just off you go, just sets you off. So, um, and you just feel horrendous, you feel down and low, and like you've got no energy. So it's just a case of trying to get that energy back up. Well, hello there, night time, Neil in the van again. Tuesday night again, a bit like last week. A um, little bit more planned maybe this week than last week. I still wasn't 100% sure, I've got to be honest, when I went out this morning, what tonight would entail, um, or if at all. But I did manage to get out, so obviously what I was just saying there um, about the IBS and stuff, um, I was worried about that still. However, seemed to have dealt with it over the course of the day. Ate really well today, um, nice and clean. So, um, went out, decided to go out Jackson B um, for a bit of an evening session, um, which was different, very, very different, um, because it, was overcast and raining and soggy and wet and muddy and we were in the fields around where we were last week where we got lost took a slightly different route this this week and had a great time out there in terms of trying to replicate the grim reaper at this time of day in particular um because that will be that will indeed be something that's quite important um running in the dark and as night falls um and possibly in the worst conditions tonight as well which was really helpful because who knows what's gonna happen on the day. It could, it, could, it could easily happen 
like it did today. So just added eight miles to the total. So eight plus the 3.5 from this morning. Another good Tuesday with 11 miles. Really happy with that. Um, sets me up nicely. So anyway, sorry interrupting myself, but uh, we'll see you soon. So that's the end of today's vlog. So we'll see whether or not there's more to add to this. Um, we may have just seen that, we may not have done. And um, let's see what happens. So uh, it's the end of today's vlog. Have a great day. Take care. Boom, boom, boom.